Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Today we are talking all about fruit and I have this awesome bowl full of really interesting fruits. Some of these fruits you might be familiar with. We've got an apple, yum, a strawberry, look at this little blueberry, and even a little hairy kiwi here. We also have some more interesting fruits. Have you ever tried mango? or cactus fruit. Isn't this an interesting looking fruit? This is one of the weirdest fruits. This is a dragon fruit. Whoa. I can't wait to learn more about all of these different fruits and maybe get to taste some. I've got a great story to recommend for you today. It's called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Here is our title page. We've got the title, The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. We've got our authors, Don and Audrey Wood, and our illustrator, Don Wood. And we've got this beautiful illustration. Hmm, what clues does this give us about the story? We've got a ladder coming out of a house. I wonder what it means. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Hmm, friends, can you tell what this mouse is doing in the picture? There's that ladder we saw earlier. Hmm, I wonder what he's up to. Oh, I see. Are you gonna pick that red ripe strawberry? Does he look like he's going for that strawberry? Hmm, that looks yummy, doesn't it? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. Oh no, do you think the bear is gonna take the strawberry from the mouse? It's especially one that has just been picked. Yikes, would you be afraid if you were that little mouse? Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find that strawberry. Oh, this poor mouse, he's so afraid. Hmm, I wonder what happens next. To find out what happens next to our friend the mouse, you can check this book out from the library. I'll put a link in the description below to find this book and other books about fruit for you to check out. Friends, it's time for a magnet board story. This magnet board story is called five red strawberries. And it goes along with the book we just read about the mouse and the big red strawberry and the bear. Remember how the bear was coming to get the strawberry? Well, in this rhyme, the bear eats all five strawberries. Okay, here we go. Five red strawberries. I've invited my friend, Bear, to help me tell this one. Five red strawberries, sweet to the core, Bear came along and ate one, and then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four red strawberries sitting in a tree. Bear came and ate one, and then there were three. One, two, three. Three little strawberries, one for you, and you, and you, but Bear came and ate one, and then there were two. Bear, why did you eat everybody's strawberries? Two red strawberries shining in the sun. Bear came and ate one, and then there was one. One strawberry left. Bear, I hope you don't eat the last strawberry. <gasps> Oh my goodness. 
one little strawberry left all alone. Bear came and ate it, and now there are none. Well, thank you very much for doing that rhyme with me, and thank you, Bear, for helping me tell this story. It's time to practice our writing. Are you ready? Let's get started with writing the word fruit. Okay, here we are with the word fruit, which is perfect for today's fruity story time. We're going to start with this capital. What letter am I writing? It's a capital F. Then we have an R, a U, I, and finally, T. Fruit. Fruit. Today, I am very excited to introduce a recipe to you. We are going to be making fruit salad pizza. To make this recipe, all you will need is whatever fruit you like to eat, some cream cheese, and a cracker. Let's get started. All right, we've got our hands nice and clean. We've washed our hands. We've had an adult cut the fruit for us. And now we're ready to do a cooking project that we can do no matter what our age is, whether you're old or young, you can do this cooking project. First, I'm spreading cream cheese on all of my crackers there. Getting a nice amount of cream cheese on each of my crackers gonna be delicious. I'm so excited. The next step is to put the fruit onto our pizza. So we're gonna start with the strawberries. Putting the strawberries on our fruit pizza. Putting the strawberries on our fruit pizza. Putting the strawberries on our fruit pizza. Way down yonder at the library. Next is blueberries. Putting the blueberries on our fruit pizza. Putting the blueberries on our fruit pizza. Putting the blueberries on our fruit pizza. Way down yonder at the library. All right, mango is our next fruit. Let's put that on there. Putting the mango on our fruit pizza. Putting the mango on our fruit pizza. Putting the mango on our fruit pizza. Way down yonder at the library. Finally, the kiwi. Putting that kiwi on our fruit pizza. Putting that kiwi on our fruit pizza. Putting the kiwi on our fruit pizza. Way down yonder at the library. Wow, look at the delicious pizzas we've made. Yum, I can't wait to give one a try. All right, let's give this fruit pizza a try. Looks really good. We've got lots of yummy fruits on there, some of my favorite fruits. Here we go. Mmm! That is so good. I'm gonna have another bite. That is lovely. The cracker gives us a nice crunch. The fruit is sweet and a little bit sour and it goes perfectly with the cream cheese. It's a lovely and healthy snack where we can learn and try a bunch of different fruit. Friends, we've come to the end of our story time for today. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.